Shalom to my brothers and sisters who are in the body of the Messiah and who is called the bride of the Messiah. And Shalom, Shalom to the scattered Hebrew Israelites who are throughout the four corners of the earth and who are called the bride of Yahuwah, of the Most High God, Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Shalom. This will be a short video because we often hear this, especially Hebrew Israelites who are the Jews, who are the children of Israel. We hear this a lot from the heathens and Gentiles. They will often say the Messiah is an olive color because for too long we have been taught the European lies. Okay, but what's so funny is, or what's so what's so ironic is, the word tell you what his color is. But because the world wants to believe lies and not the truth, they would go with a lie first. The evidence is there, from the Old Testament to the Apocrypha and to the New Testament. It's there. It's even evident in the Hebrew language. It's there. Again, many want to believe the lies of the Europeans. For the Europeans are the sons of Esau and the sons of Jacob and the sons of the unknown ancient nation. Yes, there is an unknown ancient nation that the Bible mentioned of. Seek Yahuwah for the answer. Get your copy of that 1611. Even Daniel confirmed we're dealing with another nation. But let's keep going. So what you see here before you is a picture of an olive tree. And the Most High blessed me to see an olive tree here in California. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those who say that the Messiah is an olive color, you, just, uh, you have just agreed with us that he's a Negro. So that's black. Okay, so let me go to the, the post. Okay, because I know a lot of people do not have Facebook. But those who have Facebook, I have a photo album that you can um, read in your spare time to get all the scriptures that pertain to the Messiah so you can understand his true characteristics when he went in his earthly vessel, when he came here on the earth. And you know that he came from the tribe of Judah, and this will also confirm that the Israelites slash Jews are Negroes as a nation of people. That's our characteristic trait as a nation of people. We will have black or white hair. That's also written in the Bible. And our hair would be woolly in texture. And we would be Negro slash black. That is our nation characteristic trait. Just as Esau nation People has red hair. Yes. And it's still evident today. This is how we have red hair in the earth. It's there. The evidence is there. But let us keep going. So the name of this photo album on my Facebook account is Characteristics of Yahuwah and Yahushua. Okay. So now let us go to the post. I want to read the post. And then we're going to take a look at the picture of the olive. Now the post says, the son of God and God is Yahuwah. The Son of God, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah, is all of color. Now, today in the English language, we would we would say this um the Son of God name is Joshua. Again, the Spirit will have to teach you these truths. That's something you have to seek the Father for in your spare time. Read Luke 11, verse 9 to 13. But let us keep going. The Son of God, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah, is all of color. Do you know the color of an olive? An olive colors range from green to burgundy to black. As, as you can see, hold on for one minute, my people. Come on. Because I had that door shut for a reason, little one. Uh-uh, girl. Uh-uh. Sorry about that. Okay. Do you, I mean, we start back over. Do you know the color of an olive? And olive colors range from green to burgundy to black. As you can see in this photo, 
black, which is Negro, is the final color of the olive. See, the olive transition as it ripens. And we'll talk more about that in this video. Check out the video playlist on what does it mean for the Messiah to be white and ready. And in Hebrew, that word white would be teshach. And ready would be Adam or some would say Adam. And the title of that video playlist is Israelites and Christians, white and ready. The true meaning in the 1611 Bible. See, the truth is there, my brothers and sisters, but you have to unharden your heart. So the comforter can teach you the truth for the Messiah prophesies that the, that the truth shall set you free. And he's right. The truth will set you free. Another mystery that many do not understand is your life and Gentiles. So you have to unharden your heart and be willing to listen and willing to see. For if not, you're going to remain in lies and be misled by the heathens. Okay. So let's go to the picture now. I want to blow this up <clears throat> so you can see it. Okay. So as you see in this picture, you can see the stages of the olive. When the olive first grow out, it's green. Then it slowly transitioned to burgundy. And then the final stage of the olive is black. <clears throat> okay. So again, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> those who say that the Messiah is olive color, you have just agreed that he's a Negro. But it saddens me that some of y'all don't even want to admit the truth. You want to go around the truth. Okay. Some would say, oh, he was a dark person. A dark person? Some would say, oh, he was olive color. You have to be honest. There's a video on the channel about lying is an abomination to Yah. Okay. And I say, Yah, I'm talking about the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So if you're calling yourself a follower of the Messiah, we should be children to give the truth and not the lies. That's another thing we need to think about. Okay. It's because we don't want to be like the heathens. Okay. We don't want to be lukewarm. We want to tell the whole truth. So those are access to Facebook. You can go to this folder album. Let me get there now. It takes a little while <clears throat> to get access to these photos and posts. Okay. But those who do not, you can go to my YouTube channel and watch the um, playlist regarding about the appearance of the Messiah, the true appearance. Again, we got to get rid of these European lies. My grandma told me this when I was a young girl. She said, you know, a lie go by fire and by. But the truth come behind the lie, cleaning up the lie mess. So we are in the era that the truth now is coming out. For too long have the Europeans told these lies. And the Europeans are made up of the sons of Esau, the sons of Japheth, and the sons of the unknown ancient nation. Again, seek Yahuwah about getting an understanding about them. Okay. Next place I want to take you to, because I know some of you, but how does Sissy you know she saw an olive tree? So I, I, I went and Google and show y'all some pictures so you can see what the olive tree looked like. Because when I saw it, I gave all praises to the Father. I said, Father. That's an olive tree. And when I saw how the olive transitioned from green to burgundy to black, I said, thank you, Father, for you just gave us another confirmation that the Messiah is a Negro. He's black. So here's some pictures of an olive tree. And as you can see, again, the olive can go from green and then transition to black as well as to burgundy. Take this time now to pause your screen. And here's another good photo too. See how the olive is transitioning from its colors? Again, the word is giving us the truth. And when we reject the word of God, the word of Yahuwah, then we shall 
come to believe lies. So you need to make a decision, my brothers and sisters. You need to make a decision, Israelites and Gentiles. Either you're going to believe the truth of Yahuwah, or you're going to believe the lies of the Europeans, who are the sons of Esau, the sons of Japheth, and the sons of this unknown ancient nation. Make a decision. Because the time is coming, you're going to have to pick a side. You can't be lukewarm in this if you're calling yourself a follower of the Messiah. Okay, so the last place I want to take you to is the playlist. Hopefully I can get there. So you can see what it looks like. Let's go here. Let's go to my playlist. And again, so you can see what that little light. So it would be titled Israelites and Christians, White and Ruddy, the True Meaning, the King James 1611. A lot of good resources there. You definitely want to read the summary of the playlist. Okay. A lot of good information. Also, there's a video to show you the scriptures or giving you what, what was the hair color of the Israelites. Okay. It's in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament. Okay. Also, it's a video to show you what fine brass looks like when it's burned. Okay. And burn, remember, it's a past tense word. And that's another thing that the heathens will often do. They would lie about that as well. And this video will also be added to the playlist. All right. Continue to preach the gospel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Make sure the people receive salvation as written in Romans chapter 10 and baptize them in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. For the Lamb set the example of the water baptism and the Holy Spirit baptism. And the apostle continued them both as confirmed in the whole volume of the book. For it is evident in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. And we are in the season for the Messiah to return. Okay. For we are in the seventh day from Adam, which is the 12,000 year from creation. Again, seek the most high Yah for that. All right. I love you all. And Shalom. And do you know that peace that's with you? Think about it. Read Matthew chapter 28, verse 20.